Hey guys, it's me, Derek, and uh, it's been a while. It's been a really long while since I've made a personal video for YouTube. Uh, we've been mainly concentrating on Twitch as of late because uh, we have a pretty good thing going on. But I, I don't want you to think I forgot. I, I have been put, putting in uh, Twitch compilations, which that's that's not that's not a lot. And eventually I'll be separating the cha the Bits and Pieces channel and c keeping this as my personal. But that's not what I want to talk about today. Today I kind of want to give an update and talk about some things that kind of need to be talked about. Um, so this channel is really small. It's really small. And... It's it, there's a lot of content. I, most of it's probably not that great, and I admit it's probably not that great at all. Uh, currently, I'm using my Twitch template <laughs> as we speak to record this. If you maybe add some flair, yeah, never never hurts to add a little bit of flair to the videos. Um, you might have noticed as of late on YouTube that a lot of people, a lot of bigger streamers, a lot of people are talking about you know depression anxiety and just general health issues um, as you guys know I started my channel a long time ago because I was inspired by boogie 2988 still big inspiration to me um, I don't follow him as much as I used to um, and his current situation has nothing to do with it. I don't really care about what's going on uh, on that part. Um, I know he's going through a rough time being chastised on the internet just because he has a different opinion and other people don't like that opinion. So they decide to go after him with pitchforks and you know whatever the fuck they can grab off the ground to throw at him. I don't really care about that shit. Um, but you can tell that he is going through some shit. But I don't want to make this video about Boogie. Because, honestly, Boogie is just a person. I don't know him. He doesn't know me. Uh, he'll never know me. And I don't care. I don't care about that. I want to talk about the real issue, as in depression and how it does affect things. Um... I got diagnosed with severe bipolar depression about three years ago. Um, a lot of things happened. I, I used to be super outgoing. I used to be really outgoing. I used to have a really good job. I used to have lot, uh, uh, plenty of money, uh, um, <laughs> dispendable cash. I used to buy all this nice stuff. Then I lost nearly everything. I had to sell everything I own, basically. Basically, what's left is my computer and what books and stuff I have. I don't have much left. I don't have a lot at all. And um, I've, I've made a lot of sacrifices. And I'm with my fiance, and she, she's she been with me for six years, almost seven. And she has seen this, and she's had to make sacrifices. And lately, the last few years, she has seen me fall from up here to just – rock bottom I, I would not say I'm on rock bottom there are people out there that's got a way worse off than I do okay you know I can take say yeah I don't have a car anymore my health sucks I don't have the money to go out and buy all the newest video games and all this stuff anymore you know but I don't know what happened to me I don't know why I got this way and I'm getting progressively worse I've had three suicide attempts. Um, most recent one was last. Uh, I was back in August, where I swallowed uh, 30 blood pressure pills and ended up in the ICU with a uh, tube down my nose, down into my stomach, sucking those out. Um, that was fun. I don't want to kill myself. 
I don't want you to think, hey, this is a guy who's going to kill himself. No, I'm not going to do that. A lot of people think I'm going to do that, but I'm, I, 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 it's not worth throwing my life for, away from. But I'm just going to tell you, <laughs> every day I wake up is, is, is a fucking nightmare. Okay, I, I'm trying to fight it. I met. I'm not where I want to be as a 31, 31 year old man. Things didn't go exactly as I planned, and it's my fault. It is my fault. I I I take full responsibility of where I am in my life right now. Yeah, there's a lot. There are some things that I did. To help people out, and it turned out hurting me and my fiance. Just the decisions we. The thing is, I like to help people. I do. I, I really do. I love to help people. But we let the wrong people in, and it hurt us really bad. And I'm still plan recover, recovery. And that person, one of the people that hurt them, that hurt us, ended up killing themselves. And. I blame myself every day. I blame myself every day for that. Because I kicked them out of a house that we was living in because they didn't pay the rent and hurt us. And I had to sell my stuff to take care of it. And they had, you know, their animals just doing everything. It was just treating us really bad. So I kicked them out. And a few months later, the guy killed himself. And I take responsibility for that. And every day I wake up, I think about, I think about that. That's always on my mind. So I've got that on top of just, you know, all this other shit that's happening in my life. And I can't wrap my head around it. I, can't, I'm not, I haven't really ate in the last few days because I haven't felt like eating. I just haven't. And you're looking at me, I said, you're a fat guy. You can you can easily, you know, just not eat for like 10, 15 days. Lose the weight, fatty. Yeah, I get that. But I, I have a heart condition too, so that, that doesn't help the problem. I've been in the ER probably twice in the last two weeks just due to uh, some chest pains and blood pressure, a lot of stemming from stress. Um a lot of it doing that. I I had to take a small break. I, I had to take a have to take a small break from streaming for a little bit, just a tiny bit, until I get my sh shit fixed. Uh, I'm I'm faced with a decision right now that I'm not particularly wanting to make. Okay, it's hard. It's hard. I'm not gonna get. I'm not gonna dive into the details. But I just want you to know that. There's going to be people in this <laughs> make comments on this video. It's like, oh, you're just a fat, whiny neck beard just whining on the internet because you just want people to feel sorry for you, you lazy piece of shit. I was never lazy. I'm not lazy. I'm not lazy. Um, you know, I work as much as I possibly can. I at any time anybody asks me to do something, I will do it. I will ask. Ask people if they need help with something. I will go out of my way to help whatever I can do. So I, I, I hate it when people say, oh, depression, anxiety stems from laziness. No, it's fucking not. Yeah, I'm sure there's some people that are depressed because they are lazy. But I'm not that way. I'm not that way. I don't just sit around here, you know, at my home all day sitting here playing video games. I don't. You can take a look at like some of my accounts. I barely play games anymore. I I just feel like I've lost interest because I'm too down in the dumps to do something that I love. And gaming is one of those things I really love doing. That's one of the things I love to do. And I know this video is kind of like bouncing off the walls and kind of incoherent, uh, kind of a jumbled mess. And I'm not trying. This this is all coming from me. This is me right now. I'm a shaking mess, dude. I'm a fucking mess. I'm a fucking mess. Everybody sees it. Everybody sees that I'm a mess. 
And I can't help myself. I'm too fucking weak to help myself. You know, and people say, hey, you should listen to your friends, your family. That's not easy to do. It's not fucking easy to do at all. It's actually the opposite of easy. Yeah, I I can listen to my friends and my family, my fiance, uh, passerby, and they can say, hey, things get better. Things are going to get great. Things are going to be amazing. But in my mind, that's not what I'm thinking. I can say, yeah, that's a nice compliment. That's a nice thing to say. That's a nice thing to say. That's that's great. That that's like applying a bandage to an open wound. You know, it's only temporary. It's only temporary. Depression's not just a you know, just a, 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 a thing like, oh yeah, I lost my girlfriend, so I'm down in the dumps. Oh, I lost my job, so I'm down in the dumps. Depression, actual depression is a condition. Is a condition that people who have it, they understand it, and the people that do not have it don't understand it. They just think it's just regular old either laziness or just being, you know, whiny when it comes down to it. Um, and I'm not trying to be whiny. This kind of does seem like, now that I'm looking at it, it does seem like it's a whiny video. It kind of is. It kind of is. Um, and it probably doesn't help that I have some kind of sappy music possibly playing in the background. It doesn't really help it's if I put sappy music in the background anyways. <clears throat> I, I just feel bad because, you know, my family and my friends and my fiance and everybody that sees me, they're worried constantly. They're constantly worried that I'm just going to give up. I'm going to throw everything away. I'm just going to just kill myself, and that'd be it. That's that's all that's gonna happen. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna kill myself. I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm trying to work things out. I've been trying to do this for years now, and nothing ever works. Yeah, after three suicide attempts, I think I'm done trying that. Right? I think, I think I'm done. Three three is enough. They say the third time's a charm. Yeah, it didn't work out because I didn't let it. I, I, I pulled myself. I, you know, as soon as I realized what I'd done after I did it, I immediately called 911 because I don't, I, I want to keep living. I want to keep pushing. I want to try to make a positive impact in people's lives the best I possibly can. I want to be able to help people. I have friends that are in dire need of help that are going through things that are way worse than what I am going through in my life. And here I am, here I am on the internet making a video about how fucking lousy I am. And I apologize, I apologize. I just want you guys to see the first hand what it's like. I haven't been on my meds for a little while. It's my fault. I haven't really been honest with people if I was saying, hey, I'm okay. I'm not okay. I'm not. I'm far from okay. I'm trying to get help. I'm trying. I'm not, as, not trying as hard as I can. And I'm basically just giving up. I'm just throwing away things that everything that I love I'm just ruining because of this, of, of the way I am. I don't know how I got this way. I don't. I don't know how I got this way. But I'm, throwing, I'm, I'm hurting everything. I'm, I'm hurting everyone. And I love you. I love everyone. All the supporters, my family, my friends, even people I don't even fucking know. But I'm going to try harder. I want to try as hard as I can to maybe, maybe fix things. But yeah, I, 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 
I watch your videos every day. And anytime something new comes out, I've been watching your, you know, Twitter stuff and you talking about depression and everything. I, I know this. I know what you're going through, dude. I know. I fucking know it, dude. It's hard, dude. It is so fucking hard. And I don't know what to do to fix it. I just wish, I just wish it would just go away. I just wish it would go away. I wish I could fix things. I wish things were different. But they're not. And I can't fix that. I'm sure I can eventually, and that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to get my ass out of the dirt. So I can fix things and help the p other people who's dealing with the same shit. But I feel like an unstable mess. Completely unstable. I would never hurt anybody. I won't hurt myself. But I promise that I'm going to get better and I might take a small just a small break from streaming and everything but I just wanted to let you guys know what's going on I, again I do apologize if this video has come off as a complete mess but I, I am thankful for you to stop by and just watch and listen to what I have to say now, I'm sure, like I said, I know I'm going to get hate on this video. I know it. I know it. People are going to come in. Oh, you're fat. Go kill yourself. You're sad. Go kill yourself. Go fuck yourself. You need to die. You're a piece of shit. We get, I get it. I fucking get it. You guys don't understand. You want to be a fucking troll. Do that. Just fucking do that. You could do that all you want. I, I don't care. I don't care. You, you, you know, you just, you just could do that shit. But I just want to let you know if there's somebody else that's de dealing with shit in their life and they need some kind of help, I will try my best to help. I'll try my best to, you know, help you out the best I can. It's a small channel. We're small on Twitch. We're small on YouTube. We're working on it. We're th we got good things coming. I just have to get out of the slump, guys. Um, I don't want you to feel sorry for me. I don't. I don't. I don't want you to feel sorry for for me. If you want to do anything, just say, hey, you know, you're doing good, man. Just keep on doing your thing. And that's what I'm going to try to do. But I'm going to go ahead and end it here. Uh, I'm tired of the rant, and uh, I'm sure you are too. But I just want to give an update, just kind of let you know what's going on, why I haven't streamed, what's going on with me mentally, which is not good. Um, and I promise I'll, I'll, I'll do better. I will see you guys soon. I love you guys. And uh, thanks for the follows. Thanks for the subscriptions. Thanks for everything. Uh, and I'll talk to you guys soon.